Now, I'd like to preface this by saying I did enjoy Megan immensely. However, when I was looking at the picture, I felt something was familiar in my mind. Something was nostalgic. I couldn't put my finger on it. I was just enjoying the picture, trying to take it in for what it is there. But something about Megan, the way she was moving and the way she was talking, felt very familiar to me. Now, if you're under the age that I am, probably like in your 30s or lower or whatever, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. And if you're like a millennial, Gen Z or whatever, you probably think that Megan is an original character. Uh, and that's great. Um, like, probably, it's probably going to be a favorite. And I have no problem with more Megan in the future. I just love the character. It's great. But there was something familiar about it. It's like when you hand in a paper to your professor in school and your professor knows that something's off about your paper. Something is a little bit too familiar with somebody else's work in the class. You just changed a few things. That's what I think that Megan is. I think that Megan is essentially copying a lot of what the Small Wonder character was. So let's take a look at Small Wonder. Small Wonder was released in 1985, one year after Gremlins. Gremlins was the first show out. I'm not reading this up anything, by the way. Gremlins was the f sounds like I am, but I'm not. Gremlins was the first one to have a cute, cuddly character infiltrate a home and bad things happen. Vicky the robot from Small Wonder was a robot built by the dad for the son, and the robot would help out with menial tasks there, protect the family, things like that, in a, in a very comedic way. So, so Gremlins came out. I was thinking, like, did this feel familiar to me? So I thought, Gremlins came out, I, I believe, in 84, and then this came out in 85. Uh, first episode, 85, 89. Then 85... And then Child's Play, let's take a look at that one. I think it was 87. Okay, a little up, 88. So in the 80s, and basically within a four-year period, you get three different properties doing the exact same thing. A cute, cuddly character comes into a home, and it's very odd. I'm not going to tell you the story of the Gremlins, in case you didn't see Gremlins, uh, and Small Wonder is Small Wonder. It's, it's, a, it's a sitcom show in the 80s. It's, it's fun. It's hilarious. So, the thing is, with, with uh, Child's Play, in case you didn't know, there's another channel that taught me about this one. The original Child's Play is owned by MGM Studios. MGM Studios does not hold the rights to the sequels of Child's Play. That's Universal. Universal holds the rights to the sequels and the TV shows. So, so Universal also is responsible for Megan. So they can't do an origin story of Chucky again for via MGM. Uh, so Universal cannot do that. So in order to do their own origin story, they're going to do Megan, another killer doll type of movie. So they're going to do sequel after sequel for this one, and it's going to make a lot of money. That's fine. But the story of Megan, okay, so they essentially did what Ghostbusters 2016 tried to do. In Ghostbusters 2016, they had a gender swap, and they did a, a very poor gender swap, uh, where they tried to make the other characters from that, the, from the 80s movie, and they put them into the 2016 version without making, without knowing why they were good. It was just horribly done. Very boring, very by-the-numbers book thing. However, in Megan, they gender swap. In, in Small Wonder, the dad builds a robot for the son. In Megan, the, the lone guardian female builds a robot for the daughter. So it's just gender swaps.
from back then. I can't believe I didn't notice it because it's been a while since that one. I actually have a pin of uh, Vicky the Robot. Uh, by the way, the, the little pink girl here, she's the nosy neighbor. In Megan, there is a nosy neighbor, by the way. So, yeah. <laughs> There's no dog in this version because it would be kind of problematic. But, yeah, that uh, nosy neighbor, the, the girl in pink there. Yeah, nosy neighbor. I love the character. She's great. So, yeah, it was quite uh, quite jarring to see uh, that the comparison between Small Wonder and Megan is so astute. I mean, I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, holy shit, I forgot about this damn show. But, yeah, um, Harry and the Hendersons, uh, that story of Bigfoot infiltrating a family. Uh, hilarious side they have to hide a giant monster from other people from knowing that he exists. So that's Harry and the Hendersons. Um, Knight Rider, I think most people know about Knight Rider, even now. A uh, Talking Car, uh, Michael Knight. So if you see any kind of, like, besides, besides the movie Cars, uh, Talking Cars to the driver and the, the car doing cool acrobatic stunts, stuff like that, that's Knight Rider. That's Knight Rider. So they're not taking... They're not taking uh, properties from back then. They're, um, who owns this shit, by the way? Wikipedia. Um, they're not, they're not taking properties from back then. They're actually doing it their own way. Distributor, production company, no. Uh, Fox, maybe? Fox? No, but it's not Universal. Universal owns Jurassic Park and Minions, uh, and Fast and Furious. They don't own, uh, they don't own this. So instead of, like, copying this, uh, like, with the, the name and things like that, uh, it's essentially Megan. They made their own version, and they, like, said, we want a female robot, but we want a female to create it. We want it to be for a female, instead of a guy making it, we want a girl making it. So, yeah, at least there was no LGBTQ nonsense in the movie. So, that was, that was good to see. I did see another movie called um, Prediction. Um, about the, the, the female in the movie, the Jenna, I think her name is there, the creator of the robots. Uh, she was in that movie. I think she did the movie after Get Out. And within the first couple minutes, I knew there was a um, non-binary vibe. But the way she was looking at someone in the picture, even though it was played up as just friends, I'm like, nah, I know, I, I know passion when I see it, pal. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was something to see back then. And by the way, that movie ended with uh, the two non-binaries um, really, really beating up badly the binary guy. The binary straight white male, by the way. I couldn't believe it. So cliche for nowadays. So yeah, so what do you think about the comparisons between Small Wonder and Megan? Let me know in the comments below. That's for now. Clack off.